probably the most excited I've ever been to film a video. I am finally doing my vanity tour, which I have pushed off for forever. I kept thinking that I could somehow perfect it and change things around and that it wasn't quite right, but my New Year's resolution was just to do it. So for Christmas and my birthday, I asked for just a couple things, a utility cart from my in-laws and a floor lamp from my mom. And then for my birthday, Jer got me a couple art prints. So those things all together just kind of made it all work and it just made it a really lovely spot. And it makes me so happy to sit down and put on my makeup every morning. There is a reason I don't film up here and that is because it is not the best natural light. So I'm sure it's looking kind of darker than my normal videos, but I'm hoping that I can kind of jimmy together some lights or maybe do some editing after I get the footage onto my computer to brighten it up so that you can see all the products. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna back the camera up a little bit and just show you an overview of the space. Welcome to my vanity. This is about as far back as I can go, but I wanted to give you a sense of the space before I started opening any drawers. I'm gonna quickly run through where I got the big main items, starting with the utility cart. This was a Christmas gift for my in-laws and I asked for it specifically thinking that I was gonna put it next to my vanity. And I think that these utility carts from Ikea are super practical and super cute. And so right now I'm using it for storage. This might change, but I'm happy with my setup for now. On the top shelf, I have some of my favorite magazines, People Style Watch and Natural Health. I have two of my favorite children books, um, Heidi and Anne of Green Gables. I have my unscented Argan Oil Acure Facial Wipes and I cannot be without those. They are my favorite makeup removing wipes and they're just really handy to have next to where I do my makeup. And the little berry cart I have right now, I have some headbands. I was actually thinking, I go between um, being really into my beauty blenders and not using them at all. And right now I'm in a phase where I'm using my beauty blenders a lot. So I was thinking of making that little berry carton um, like a place to store my beauty blenders, which I might do. I have some extra Q-tips, which always come in handy. And then in a mug, I have some of my lip glosses. On the second shelf, I'm storing some beauty and health books as well as a couple dirty brushes that need to be washed. And then in the bottom drawer, I have some of my makeup bags. Under my vanity, I have a trash bin and then the chair and pillow are from World Market. The bronze floor lamp, which I've talked about in a couple videos, was a gift from my mom and it is from Urban Outfitters. And then the last two things before we get to the vanity, the mirror is from Target. And then up on the floating shelf, I have the two Rifle Paper Company prints that I got for my birthday from Jeremy. I just put them into really cheap, inexpensive frames from Target. And then the two little knickknacks are from Anthropology. I think both are technically candle holders, but I don't plan on burning any candles up there. I just mostly got them to be cute. The vanity itself is from Target and I've had it for a couple years. And when it came, it had some just not super cute knobs. So I swapped those out for some that I bought from Anthropology, And I will say that I love this space. I love that it's eclectic. I love black furniture. Most of the furniture in my house is black, but I will say that this vanity is like, if NARS was gonna make a vanity, it would collect fingerprints like this vanity does. And I just think that's, you know, it just kind of comes with black furniture sometimes. Even last night I spent forever polishing it and trying to get all the fingerprints off of it so I could show it to you nice and clean. But then when I sat down to do my makeup today, all the fingerprints came back. So while I love it, I do think that fingerprints, especially when you're doing makeup, is just kind of something that happens with black furniture. Really quick before I move to the top of the vanity, if you can see down there at the base of the floor lamp, that is technically a laundry hamper, but I thought it was so cute. And I use that to store my larger palettes that I'm not currently reaching for, as well as unsorted makeup. To actually do my makeup, I have this smaller mirror from Pottery Barn Teen. I've had it for a couple years and I love the look of it. My only issue is that it doesn't tilt. So if you're doing liner, like a wing liner or putting on mascara, it can be a little bit hard to see in it. But my mom has one of those simple human mirrors, which I think seem awesome. So maybe one day I will spring for one of those. On top of the vanity, I always keep some kind of pretty towel or cloth. It just, you know, kind of helps with any kind of fingerprints, cleaning off a of brush or spills. I store my brushes in initial mugs from Anthropology. I washed my brushes last night, so the bulk of them are still hanging up to dry, but I put a few in just to give you an idea. This meow dish, which is so cute, is also from Pottery Barn Teen. And in here, I keep random things, um, something that I know is gonna end up in my favorites video. I might set out here like that tart liner, things that are brand new. I'm thinking of maybe doing a quick haul. I got two new lip products, so I just have those sitting out. But let me clear this off and let's go ahead and get started into the actual makeup storage. My vanity, pretty much you could split it down the middle and most everything on the right side is from the container store and most everything from the left side is from Muji, almost everything. Let's go ahead and start with the right side. I'm gonna show you my oldest piece of makeup storage. This is two separate units. The one on the top I've had for 
I don't know, four or five years, and it has held up so well. Both are from the Container Store. This one, you can store an incredible amount of makeup very neatly so that it's so easy to grab for stuff in the morning. And then more recently, I 100% copied this from my mom. She has this same thing, and she bought this drawer also from the Container Store and put it on underneath, and I loved that idea, so I stole it for myself, and I'm housing some palettes in here right now. In this drawer, I'm keeping my two Red Apple Lipstick Eyeshadow Palette. One I have completely full, the other just has two in it. Also my Nouveau Organica Palette, my beloved Sony Kashuk All Matte Palette, a bronzer from Paula's Choice, the Aqua Lilies for Tarte Palette, and then both the original Lorac Pro Palette and the Mega Pro Palette. In this lipstick holder, I love to keep my Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadows because they fit in perfectly. I also have my two Rebel Nude YSL Glossy Stains, two of the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks in Divine Wine and Touch of Spice, and then two of the brand new NYX Intense Butter Glosses. Behind that, I have some contouring and highlighting products, Stila, NARS, Chanel, Dior, Too Faced, the Josie Marin Argan Illuminator, and the Benefit Lolly Tint. In the last section on this side, I have my three Kat Von D palettes, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, which I'm still not over. I think that is such an awesome palette, and the Hourglass Ambient Lighting palette. This is the largest open section in this organizer, and here I store mostly base products. I have my Maybelline concealers. The rest are either foundations or BB creams, as well as this Vitamin D Mist from One Love Organics. Behind the bases, I keep my more colorful eyeliners as well as shadow sticks. These are lip liners, and other than the Too Faced ones, which I'm going to show you in a second, I really like these Jordana ones. Behind that, I have two mascaras, and this right here is a, oh, let me pan up a little bit. That is a beauty spoon that Kristen Game sent me forever ago, and you use it to get the last little bit of product out of a container. On top of these drawers, I have a lipstick holder that I got the same time from the container store four or five years ago. It holds nine lipsticks and I mostly have Too Faced Le Cremes, which is one of my favorite formulas and it holds four lip liners and I have four Too Faced lip liners. Everything else on this side of the vanity I ordered from Muji online. I have a five drawer unit and then a two drawer stacked on top. And you can see that the drawers in the two drawer are a little bit deeper so you can stack some things on top of each other. And then this is one of my favorite little things. I love this so much. You can easily pull these out. So I have, um, you know, just some different things. Like I have one that is just dedicated to my eyebrows. So when I'm getting ready to do my eyebrows in the morning, I'll pull the little drawer out and set it up on my paper towel. These drawers aren't super interesting, so I'll try to go quickly. This top one is my Josie Marin drawer. I have two of the cheek jellies, and then I actually have one other of the Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil, but that is in my purse. This is my concealer drawer, and it is quite full because I feel like I am on the never-ending hunt for the perfect under-eye concealer. These are my most used eyeliners, and just recently I realized that I really like Tarte liners. I love their cream liners. Um, I also, I think the Zuzu Lux liner in Raven might be beating out the Physician Formula Eye Booster that I have loved for forever, but all these get pulled out quite often. I have a lot more mascaras open than normal because I'm working on a mascara, a top five mascara video, so you will see that coming up soon. Here's what I have for primers. Really, nothing beats the NARS Pro Prime for eyes. I have the Urban Decay, which is okay. I tried a natural one that didn't really work for me. The Laura Mercier, I loved the color, and I loved that it kind of canceled out any you know discoloration on my lid, but I still got a little bit of creasing, so I'm just crossing my fingers that one day NARS will come out with a tinted version of their Pro Prime. And then in the final drawer, I have all of my eyebrow products. In this top drawer are a couple contour products, some highlighting products. Moving into blushes, I love NARS blushes. I also really like the Butter London Cream blushes. I have some Shea Moisture as well as a couple Tarte. Here are some more blushes. Probably my current favorite formula is from Becca. I love the Mineral Blush formula. This MAC blush in Ginger Gingerly is probably the oldest makeup item I own. I think so, that probably is, and I still love it to this day. This is Dior Rosy Glow. These two are little samples that came in recent Petit Vore boxes. YSL Hourglass and then two Benefit box blushes. Here's my little collection of RMS pots. I think they're so cute and I store them upside down so it's easy for me to see which one is which. I have two small Physicians Formula palettes and then some single eyeshadows. These last three drawers are my favorite because they hold all the lip products. I have NARS Audacious, the NARS birthday gift from Sephora this year, YSL Butter London lip glosses, some NYX butter glosses, and then a Keir Weiss lip tint. 
This is my Bite Beauty drawer, which I love so much. I love the luminous cream lipsticks. I also love the matte lip crayons. My only issue is that when they first came out and they were limited edition, they had these little color indicators on the bottom, which I thought was such a good idea. And I wish they would have kept that through. You can see though that what I do when lipsticks all look the same is that I try to store them facing out. So then I just have to look at the front of the drawer and read the name to find the lipstick I'm looking for. Last but not least, I have a lot of red apple lipsticks as well as just a menagerie from a few different brands. The middle part of the vanity lifts up and I store some makeup down here as well. I won't go through everything because I don't wanna keep you all day, but I mostly store seasonal things in here. So once it warms up, I'll take some of my deeper wine colors out of my storage that sits on my vanity, swap them for some of these corals and peachy pinks, and then I'll also pull out some of the foundations that I normally use just in the warmer months. When I'm sitting down to do my makeup, I have two small drawers on either side of me. On the left-hand side, I keep a crazy amount of lip balms because I love anything that gives my lips a little bit of moisture. And then in the very back of this drawer, I have, I don't wear false lashes that often, but if I do, I really like these little clusters. They are easy to apply. They add some fullness to your lashes, but they don't look too overdone to me. On the other side, I keep some products that I reach for every day, a face setting powder, an under eye setting powder that I'm not sure I love, an eyelash curler that I definitely love a lot. And then I normally keep a pencil sharpener in here, but I think I must have left that in my bathroom. That's it for my vanity tour, and I hope it didn't disappoint because I know some of you have been waiting for quite a while for me to put this up. I will try to do my best to link a lot of things down below, but if you have a specific question of where I got something, leave it in a comment and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.